East of seven, 1952, East of Seven. We are what we remember. In the quiet, just before morning, when the streets are empty and lost memories are scattered in the wind, grainy images etched in black and white bring back what I remember. In 1952, we lived in an apartment house and during the day, the streets were choked in a steady stream of noise. Shrieks, groats, groans, yells, shouts, people hollering from roofs, alleyways, fire escapes, from across the street, everyone talking at once, everyone wanting to be heard. But when my mother called, I was tuned to her impatient voice, and without another word or another turn at bat, I would leave my friends and run home. Breathlessly scampering up the front steps, I stood before the entry door, thick glass, wrought iron, heavy and imposing, standing on my toes, I turned the brass knob as hard as I could, moving quickly, terrified that I would be crushed by their slow-moving pneumatic doors. Across from us on 7th Street was Mitoli's Bar, landmark watering hole, famous for the legendary welcome, we were here before you were born. This was a place for the literati to discuss books and art, while just across the street, men were tied to factory work that left their souls without shape or substance. My father never went to McSorley's, and no one in the building ever talked about it. From the darkened windows of that place, we could see shadows loitering at the bar, a historical place overlooked by the people who lived right on top of it. Thank you. When this, ha when this happened in the early uh, 1970s, late 1960s, people were dumbfounded. And so give a listen. And they couldn't believe it was happening. And the title of the poem gives you an idea of what they were dumbfounded about. Street Garden. East Village Tenement, grimy brick, dingy fluorescent lights the hallway, long and narrow, a vacant light of squeeze between two buildings. Despite the gritty walls and the sting of poverty, there is the unexpected surprise of a street garden. Odds and ends, yard tools clutter one corner, benches are set aside, a children's swing waits at the far end. The garden is not magnificent, like the ones you see in suburbia, but like every garden in the city, it beckons to you with a history of its own. Take a long look as you peer through the chain link fence. See the rows of growing green things. This didn't happen by accident. Grassroots actives fought to stop the decay of the Lower East Side. Squatters took over abandoned houses. Theirs were marked by struggle, struggle, hardship, and violence. They and kindred spirits captured the activism of the 70s and 80s. From Alphabet City, running along Avenue A to Avenue D, they used terms everyone understood, affordable apartments and liv uh, livable space. Neighborhood volunteers worked their soil, hunched over, Rough hands, digging the past rocks, bricks, rocks and more rocks, breaking up the ground, fingers black with dirt, touching the moistness of earth, sensing the beginnings of a new life. Thank you. Wow.